Hi everyone, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com and in this quick video I'm just going to show you some of the options that can be found on the product page and how you can use some of those to do some really cool things with your products. So first of all I'm just looking at a sample product here and it looks like a pretty standard product page. If you look over here you've got all the blocks that are visible on this product page right now. What's nice is you can click and drag these and put them in any order you want and show them wherever you might like to see them. And that goes for any of them. So there's really a lot of flexibility here in terms of layout. If we go into the ad block section, you can see that we have a few different, um, quite a few different choices here, but I just wanted to point out a few. You'll see that there's accordion that says description, page, reviews, and text. So I'm just going to go ahead and add an accordion here for description real quick. And what that does is it puts a, an accordion here that can be expanded or collapsed, and it shows the product description. There's also one where you could show the content of any page you want. You could have it show your reviews widget if you're using the Shopify reviews app. And then there's one where you can just add some text. So you can add as many of these as you want. You'll also notice that we have tabs in the same way. So you can add your description to a tab like we've done here. You can also add your product reviews in a tab if you want. You could just show some regular text or again you can show a page. So I think this is pretty useful as there's a lot of different ways you could use this to achieve things that you probably couldn't do necessarily very easily in some other themes. For example, let's say I wanted to create a tab for a size chart. So some themes have pop-ups where you can click a link and it will pop up a size chart, but there's a couple of different ways we could do it in this theme. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and add a tab page, and I'm going to call it size chart, and save. And now I have to create a page called size chart, or I can name it whatever I want, but I'm going to go to online store pages and I'm going to add a page called size chart. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take an image that I found and put it on this page. I'll add some alt text and I'm going to make it 1024, insert it, and I'll click this image and I'll just align it center, click edit, and save. Now back in my customizer, I'm just going to select the page and it looks like I have to refresh here, so let me go ahead and do that get that new page to show up. There it is. And now if I click the size chart tab, there is my size chart. You could also add it to the accordion if you want, but this is a great way to do things like add size charts or other information on your product pages in either a tab or an accordion format. Now, of course, if I had different size charts for men and women, I could also create additional product templates by just going in here, create a new template, and maybe call it female or whatever if I had a different size chart for females, and then add this tab again to that template. We have another video in our tutorial section about how to create custom page templates. So feel free to check that out if you want to do some more advanced things with your product pages. In addition, there's a few other things that we really like about the product page as far as what you can customize with it. We've got this, um, our stock widget here is pretty, pretty handy if we go into stock status. Doesn't do, there's not a whole lot of settings, but we can set a threshold where this will show as an urgency message if the stock is below that. So in this case, we have 21 units of this tent in stock. If I were to change this to 
something above 21, then it sort of changes into this urgency message that says, hurry, there's only a few left in stock. So if you only have a few of your products in stock, not, not high quantities, you can set this up to add some urgency to the page. Also, we kind of like these trust icons, which are also pretty easy to add and manipulate. We use the Font Awesome library, so you can choose from like 1,100 different, uh, 1100 different icons that can be used here, or you can upload your own. You can add some text, you can even add links if you want. So this is a great way to add some trust elements to help your customers feel more comfortable when they're shopping at your store. Other than that, I encourage you to just kind of check through the different options and look at the blocks. You can see all of the different choices there are to enhance your product pages. In addition to the blocks, I thought I would just talk briefly about the product settings themselves, which you can access by clicking this product heading in your settings. So of course we have the option to show the breadcrumb here. We've also added a couple of features that a lot of our customers have asked for in our other themes. Enable pick an option and linked options. We have another support article that kind of goes over these in more detail, but briefly, if you enable the pick an option feature, then no variant will be selected automatically for you at, when you first enter the product page. So if a customer must actually select a variant before they're able to add anything to the cart, and since we're using the swatches option on here, um, if you switch this to the drop-down option, which is by default, then you would have a drop-down menu and the first option in the drop-down menu would say, choose an option. So in other words, there is no variant selected by default, so the customer must pick an option before they can add anything to the cart. We've had some people say that that sort of helps people make sure that they select the proper variant when they're choosing a product. The linked options feature, will basically hide any unavailable variants in your store. So let's say you have a t-shirt that comes in three colors, but it, for some reason the black version doesn't come in extra large, and you've deleted that particular combination of variants. Instead of customers seeing sort of an uninviting, unavailable text in this button, it will actually update in the variants option would disappear as they selected the different variants. So any unavailable variants wouldn't, wouldn't appear at all in the list. And so as you select variants, the other ones below it will update to show that. So those are a couple of popular features that you may have to spend extra money for in development to get those added to your store if you need them that we've built right into the theme. You also have the ability to um, choose how, how wide you want your gallery to be in, it, in relation to uh, this content on the right, which we think is pretty nice. So if you have maybe images that don't necessarily need to be zoomed in and be really large and high quality, you can make them a little smaller and increase the size of this area over here. We've also got a really nice uh, zoom function that comes with this theme. So as you increase the size, you've got a lot of different options you can make it full screen if you want. You can share it, you can close the window, and you can scroll through each of the thumbnails one at a time. So it's a pretty nice gallery we think you'll really enjoy, and your customers will too. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to our support team. Thanks again, and have a great day.